In our prior panel, we heard of the beautiful films of Evtichia, Smyrna, My Beloved, Men of God, and Francesca, filmed in studios, in outdoor built stages, and in picturesque areas of our beautiful Greece. As Mr. Saman said, and the other producers agreed, Greece is an open studio for producers to use. But what about the real studios? Do we have enough and are they modern enough to accommodate the needs of international large productions? In our panel today, we have very successful studio owners who have also become film and TV producers, and they're here to share their stories. We have with us John Kalafatis, well known to the Greek American community, he's one of us. Uh, John is the owner of York Studios in New York and has a new investment in Greece that we're excited to hear about. John Karagiannis, producer, CEO, and owner of Kappa Studios. Dimitris Evangelopoulos, owner of Alpha Studios and the president of Greek Producers Association. John Skaragas, a young novelist, screenwriter, and playwright. We will talk with each one individually, and at the end, they will all come back for a second round of questions. And I would like to start with Mr. John Kalafaris. John is an entrepreneur and business executive with over 35 years of experience, establishing, developing, and leading successful organizations in the construction and entertainment industries. Today, Mr. Kalafatis is investing greatly in the future of the film and television industry with the development of York Studios, Michelangelo Campus, one of New York City's largest film studios located in the Bronx. He's the co-founder and CEO of Los Angeles-based film production company, York Films. He will talk to us about his plans of growing his entertainment activities with further investments in Greece. Uh, Mr. Kalafatis, as I mentioned before, is a Greek American and very well known to our, our community. Uh, John, you had a very successful, very long successful business career as an entrepreneur in the construction industry. But in the last few years, you became more and more involved in the audiovisual business, again with great success. Could you tell us what attracted you to the audiovisual business? that led you to own your own studios and make your own productions? Uh, thank you very much for the invite. Uh, I'm a very American Greek uh, audience. Uh, it's always challenging myself the reason. Uh, I got into the establishment of York Studios somewhere about 10 years ago. It's respective success, the excitement of uh, watching other people's productions, renting space in my studio let me to uh, think about uh, getting into production myself and eventually uh, uh, start establishing which we're on the process now studio uh, some status and studios in Greece. Uh, can you tell us uh, more about your uh, New York studios and the new Boyana Hellenic studios in northern Greece? Uh, new York City is in high demand for productions for all the right reasons and York Studios in place to accommodate the respective professional needs. Uh, Greece uh, uh, is, is a challenging uh, effort right now uh, uh, with a great potential. Uh, I wouldn't be able to make an attempt to establish and invest in Greece, particularly in northern Greece, unless the government of Greece, uh, particularly the FMA, Film Office, and Panos Kwanis, who is the force behind this incentive and our own program, with the establishment of film offices throughout our territory in Greece. Uh, but the catalyst was my uh, the opportunity to meet the Learner family in Los Angeles, very successful in productions, under a company called Millennium Productions, and particularly Gary Learner, was the CEO of Nibayana Films in Sofia, Bulgaria, as well as a, a co-partner on the Millennium Productions Company. Uh, together, we are on the process of uh, constructing some states in northern Greece uh, in the outskirts of Thessaloniki. Um, 
I believe in, in, in this, not only because I'm Greek American and my roots, because I believe it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a secure thing. Uh, while we're enjoying the support of the government, Greece and its respective infrastructure, the, the quality of its people, uh, the locations and the attractiveness to Hollywood, uh, it makes it a much easier task. Um, we, should I touch upon productions, I guess, we, we're moving into producing films of high caliber, that is Hollywood um, productions like The Enforcer that was filmed in Thessaloniki, it was completed about a month ago, it's in post right now, and Donnie Bateros was the star, as well as um, um, Kate Bosworth. Uh, apparently, we were welcome. Uh, in the city of Thessaloniki, the political spectrum, the residents all were excited about it, and that made us feel much better for launching a second um, high budget film, which is in the process of being filmed in Greece now called The Enforcer, which stars of the caliber of um, uh, Jason Statham and still the alone. While we are uh, producing these films, we are in the process of reconstructing or constructing both our studios in the outskirts of Thessaloniki. That's big news. I, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to move on to our next uh, speaker and I want to thank you and we'll come back with more <clears> questions <throat> afterwards after we had a chance to speak to, to, to the other producers. And now I'll come to Mr. Yanis Karayanis. Hello. Yanis Karajanis is the owner and CEO of JK Production SA, a production company, and Kappa Studios. He graduated from Aristotel uh, University, a faculty of engineering, and has an MBA in economics. He brings more than 25 years of business and media experience to this post, as he guides both the largest complex of studios in Greece, Kappa Studios, with 10,000 square meters, 10 sound stages, and production with over 5,000 commercial hours, over 100 TV projects with success, such as um, this season's um, Aries Melises, um, Wild uh, Honeybees, <laughs> uh, for the third season in Antenna TV and Sasmos in Alpha TV. Yes. So Mr. Karayanis, I'd like to welcome you in our panel. We understand from uh, your introduction that Kappa Studios has a very long and successful history in the independent production business and owns very, very large and modern studio facilities. Could you tell us of the capabilities of Kappa Studios to fulfill the needs of international and domestic film productions? Yes, thank you for the invitation. First of all, I'm independent producer and the owner of Kappa Studios, as you said. The Kappa Studios is uh, two complexes of studios. Uh, one in Sparta, we have eight sound stages, and uh, the brand new is in Markopolo. We have uh, uh, two big uh, sound stages, 1600 and 400 square meters each one. The area in Sparta is about 40,000 square meters, and the area in Markopolo, the brand new, close to the airport, is about 60,000 square meters. That means that we have you can use. Uh, spaces for backlots also, uh, except studios. Uh, we are very proud because um, our strategy uh, is to uh, bring uh, production from abroad, American or other productions. And uh, this year happened. Uh, we have, uh, as example, the Disney movie, The Greek Freak, The Life of Yanis Adrokubo, the NBA player, and uh, the latest, uh, it was uh, the uh, Cronenberg, director Cronenberg uh, film, Crimes of the Future. It uh, ends uh, beginning of September, last September. Uh, we are very uh, proud for those productions that uh, participate to the all Greek system in order to bring uh, from abroad uh, movies or pro foreign projects. Uh, here in Greece, uh, we have a lot of projects uh, and TV series like White Bees, as you said, and, and Sasmos for Alpha. And uh, we use studios for domestic entertainment uh, 
a project like uh, reality or shows like uh, Dancing with Stars, like Boys, uh, like uh, Big Brother, and the famous uh, project, entertainment projects. And this time, uh, I think that, uh, okay, we have a balance between domestic and foreign. Uh, for us, it's very important uh, to, 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 to be able to help all foreign projects to be here in Greece and accept the location and accept uh, the Greek studio because Greece is a big studio, as uh, you know, uh, because of the um, climate, uh, because of the people, the know-how. Uh, is uh, Now is uh, also we have another ad advantage that we have big studios with international standards, the Kappa Studios. Uh, okay, this is the studio. Uh, I, I read somewhere that this is uh, investment in the production of a Tedo Kubo was in the millions of dollars, like 16 million euros, and they employed over 1,200 filming in many, many areas of Greece and, and also in the studio. Um, I, I can imagine, you know, the immense advertisement for our country uh, based on this film. And also we can advertise about the capabilities of the people in Greece who participated in the production. Yeah. Um, now, I would like to um, go back to Ahrias Melises, which is uh, something that has been seen by millions of Greeks in Greece. Uh, uh, so, and, and, and I think you have brought me with you a, a small trailer of the movie. Yes, and, uh, we are very happy for this. Yes. If possible, um, if the studio can show it to us, uh, the trailer. Τα χωράφια μου δεν τα πουλάω. Μαλούς απογόνους. Σταμάτα, δεν θέλω έτσι. Είσαι μεθυσμένος. Ελένη! Πού είναι η Ελένη? Τι της έκανες? Δεν πρόλαβα. Να της κάνω τίποτα. Εκείνη μου έκανε. Παράτησε τον άντρα της την πρώτη νύχτα του γάμου. Και αυτό είναι μια ντροπή που δεν την ανέχομαι. Μην τη συνερίζεσαι. Εγώ όμως απόψε θα πλαγιάσω με γυναίκα και ας μην είναι λένιο. Φίλια από πάνω μου! Μην την αγκέφτω! Δεν το πέρα! Θα κάνει το ότι σου λέω εγώ! Αλλιώ δεν θα βγει ζωντανή ούτε εσύ ούτε αδερφέ σου! Τα μάτια λέω! Τα Τι έκανε, Μπορεί Ρουφιάνα! Τέλειωσε καριόλα! It's, it's a period drama, crime uh, drama, uh, 1960 in uh, Thessalia, a Greek area, uh, an area in Greece. And um, we ha it's very popular in Greece. It's about 30-40% uh, uh, of the ratings of this uh, project, and we're very happy. It's the first time that uh, in Greece, uh, uh, the sets, the cast, uh, the vision of uh, director, uh, unique. It was unique in, uh, for Greek uh, audience, for the Greek market. And uh, I, I think that, oh, I think, I'm sure that uh, uh, the Greek antenna, uh, Greek broadcasters saw, uh, saw the Agnes Medius Wild Beast in uh, Poland uh, this summer. Okay. Um... 
I think I'd like to spend one more minute to, to talk about your new TV series, Sasmos. Yes, Sasmos. Uh, it's, it's a story of two young people from opposing families who fall in love and they reawaken the vendetta from years ago in a mountain village in Greece. Uh, when I want to mention that we're proud to see Maria Jovanaki, who was the director of our yes. Chambers New York Film Festival, yes, yes, I know. Uh, and, and to see her in such a leading role. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the production of Sasmos? And, so, and we have a, a, a short trailer too. Isfera, I'm a figi, I'm a figi, I'm a figi, I'm a figi. Γι' αυτό το χωράφι χύθηκε αίμα. Ήρθα, μπαμπά. Σκοτωθήκανε ανθρώποι και εσύ δεν σεβάστηκε τίποτα. Κλείσαμε. Βουλάκι με σταματάει και σε καλό να μα βγει. Και εγώ αυτά τα θεωρώ ξεφτιλίκη. Τι πήγε και έκανε. Ποια νοσία, κοπέλα μου. Είμαι η κόρη τη Μαρίνα. Σε την κόρη μου ήσυχη, σταματάκι! Πάνε πια αυτά, μανά. Τόσα χρόνια έχουν περάσει. Ποιος τα θυμάται. Εγώ είμαι αλλιώς. Εγώ δεν έχω όπλα. Πανάθα με όλα σου Σας μούς. Σας μούς is based on a Greek... Uh bestseller and uh, uh, set on it's set on the Greek island of Crete and uh, the story is about Vedeta, you know, Vedeta in Crete uh, with traditional people, traditional um, uh, people and represent uh, uh, and the audience wants to see the Crete, how they think and what is Vedeta and what is Asmos. Asmos is uh, when the data stopped. I mean, when two people that uh, fight uh, from all time, stop it. It's as much in Greek. Right. We, your, Greek. Your, productions, your productions are extremely uh, interesting. Uh, and um, But we are pressed for time. So I'd like to go to our next um, uh, speaker and then try to come back to all of you. Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, the next speaker is Mr. Evangelopoulos. Dimitris Evangelopoulos uh, has over 22 years of business experience in the audiovisual industry. He's president of the Greek Producers Association and member of the Hellenic Film Academy. He's the CEO and president of Studio Alpha and Red Line Productions. He's the third generation of film producers and studio facilitators since Studio Alpha has been founded by his family in 1957. Studio Alpha is one of the biggest also studio facilities and the oldest audiovisual company in Greece, in operation for over 65 years, um, uh, at the time uh, where, during which uh, uh, has been used many times by foreign producers. As um, he, uh, Mr. Um, Evangelopoulos, uh, studio, uh, as a producer of Studio Alpha, um, he has developed a variety of um, TV programs like music shows, TV series and documentaries. Um, and in 2014, uh, he founded Red Lines, uh, an independent production. Um, he has already produced two feature films. He has in preparation three projects for the years 22 and 23, two feature films and a TV series. Um, Dimitri, could you tell us a little about Alpha Studios and, and uh, how the facilities can entice foreign producers? Thank you for the invitation, Tihia. Uh, I would like to, to greet all uh, the participants. And uh, I would like to take the opportunity to, to welcome uh, as well uh, Mr. John Kalafatis to the very close club of studio owners in Greece. And uh, we hope uh, to bring uh, uh, something uh, of uh, the American production uh, uh, in the Greek territory. Um, studio Alpha uh, has been, uh, has been uh, uh, built in 1957 by my family. I'm uh, the third generation of uh, TV producer and uh, studio owner. And uh, I have to say that uh, before uh, Hollywood tried 
to rediscover Greece in our days. Uh, Hollywood found Greece in 1957 with Studio Alpha because we had uh, the opportunity to host uh, many uh, American productions. Actually, uh, our uh, biggest stage, which is 1,500 square meters, uh, was built especially for the America America of Elia Kazan. Um, and many other films of that time, of the 60s, 70s, sat in uh, Studio Alpha, like the Negative Brigade, uh, Angry Hill with uh, Robert Mitchum, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in nowadays, it facilitates uh, mainly for uh, large TV shows and uh, less for uh, filming because uh, up to the last two years, um, studio was not preferable uh, for film producers to, 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 to film uh, because of the cost. But uh, nowadays, thanks to Ecome uh, and uh, all that financial efforts, uh, that uh, gives uh, producers have started using uh, studio facilities like uh, the one of these days uses uh, Mr. Karajans. Um, can you show us a small, can you show us a, a small trailer that you have prepared for us? Uh, I would like to show you. I would like to show you a small trailer of uh, our latest uh, motion pictures that we have produced. Uh, one of uh, the one is um, Waiting for Godmother, the title. Uh, it's a comedy uh, shot in the Natchez Islands, uh, which uh, promotes uh, the Greek beauty and shows the scenery. And the other is uh, called Charlie. Um, I have the privilege to produce the first um, colored silent picture uh, in Greece, uh, which is a very nice artistic uh, job. And both of them have uh, traveled around the festivals. Uh, in the world, and they have actually been chosen uh, by the Emirates uh, to be the ambassador of the films uh, in Greece while they uh, are traveling um, around the globe. Uh, if you are ready, I'm happy yes. to show you. Uh, Hello, Mr. Karajan. Hello, Mr. Karajan. Hello, Mr. Karajan. Ayasena, eh? Δεν είναι ο Ηρακλής. Τι, τι, τι. Αγόρι μου, σύζε! Πάμε να κεράσει μια μπύρα που είσαι ζωντανός. Κάθε μέρα είμαι ζωντανός, πρέπει να κερνάω μπύρες. Η νονά μου από την Άξο. Μετράει ώρες. Φύγαμε για Νάξο. Είστε χρόνια φίλοι με τον Ηρακλή. Από 12 χρονών παίζαμε μαζί και συνεχίζουμε να παίζουμε. Τι έγινε ρε παιδιά! Πάμε πάλι! short of time, so I'm going to move on and then we'll come back. Um, I, want to, I, I want to introduce to you uh, Yanis Karagas. Yanis Karagas is a novelist, screenwriter, and playwright whose work in both English and Greek testifies to his vast engagement with the human condition and empathy. 
His literary work has been winning awards for years in the United States and Europe. Now um, he's the co-writer of Fay Lelio's feature film, Road Narrows, with executive producers, Emma Thompson and George Pelecanos and starring Angela Molina. Yanni, we're very proud of you and we're very interested to hear your views about the audiovisual market uh, in Greece as a young person and a fiction writer in times of global pandemics and recessions. Please give us your comments. We don't have sound. Are you muted? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I think that the pandemic has changed everything. Um, like a world war, it has imprinted itself on the nation's psyche as it happened across the world. Um, um, there has been substantial change in the workings of the film industry, uh, publishing scene, um, the entertainment world, um, the stability of, of um, um, businesses that were active in, in the traditional film world has taken a huge hit. And now these businesses kind of have to explore a new sustainable business models and it breaks my heart because this this happens um, in a country which comes from a decade of uh, financial crisis and hardship um, my concern is as a writer is um, that when the new normal sets in uh, the abnormal um, once again becomes unimaginable so the question to me is, let's assume that this is the end of the film world as we know it. Um, what will the new world be? And of course, uh, my concern is whether we are prepared to uh, protect the, the fundamental core of our work. Um, I'm trying to be an optimist. I always use two examples. They both come from the publishing world. First of all, uh, let me remind you that uh, the publishing industry um, has sustained itself for the last six centuries in, in uh, the Western world. And second of all, I remember a long time ago, um, um, I was a student I remember the concept, the idea of the electronic book. It sounded so fascinating and at the same time, so threatening. Uh, there were so many publishing professionals you know, who could actually foresee a complete prevalence of the ebook format in reader. And it just didn't happen. And I know perfectly well why it didn't happen because in, this has to do with, with uh, what we are confronting during the crisis, during the pandemic. When we talk about the, the film industry, when we talk about the product, we, we, we don't just talk about the, the process, the investment, the money, which are very significant. Um, um, we also talk about that extraordinary uh, experience that splendid connection between the audience and the product and the film the book no one is ever going to replace that physical pleasure i have when i touch a hard cover book or a paperback and no one is going to replace the that transcendent sense of, of, of belonging and place when you go to a cinema or uh, theater. I understand that, and I have experienced that. I understand that the pandemic has caused serious disruptions across the globe. But on the other hand, I want, I need to believe that it is of a temporary nature and it will sooner or later eventually pass. And um, can I ask you um, um, a, a practical question? Mm -hmm. Do you think that Greece can garner interest from film companies and productions across the world well, uh, as, as the rest of uh, our people, you know, our, our speakers 
have expressed? Well, first of all, probably a producer may be more better equipped to answer the question, but as a writer, I do believe that Greece is going to be um, an international market for productions and um, a Hollywood filming, look, popular uh, Hollywood uh, filming location um, outside of the United States. Uh, it's the, the, the tax rebate um, incentive, it's the, the, the iconic landmarks, it's the rich heritage. But let me say something about how important the National Center of Audiovisual Media and Communication is right now. Um, when we talk about the National Center, it's not just part of the conversation of how things should work they actually make things work. Uh -oh. They actually prove to uh, certain financial groups of professionals whose job is to focus on markets and numbers that the creative powers, the creative professionals in this country are actually profitable. And this is what makes them so important. Okay. Um, I just want to mention that we recently saw your name as the screenwriter of a new TV series that the Come has supported. Uh, Avio, to Avio Masaniki, or Tomorrow Belongs to Us. Um, and I want to uh, wish you every success on that. Um, I'd like to go back to Mr. Kalafatis, if I may, uh, because we wanted to show pictures of his studios, which uh, when we weren't able to do that before. Um, are we able to do that now, studio? Yes. And Mr. Kalafatis, while we're looking at uh, the pictures, you might like to tell us something about it. Uh, the goal in this particular um, location outside of Thessaloniki is to convert existing structures to sound stages and build new ones. Uh, in the near future, commencing as we speak, and within the next year or so, I'm projecting to have three uh, rather large size sound stages accommodating the needs of as it features. And we have to reconsider it, we'll expand the number of stages, and depending on how this business will be developed in Greece, which personally I'm very optimistic about. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think are the prospects for the future of the film, Greek film industry, the Greek film industry, and, and um, any additional steps that you suggest that need to be taken for its success? My personal opinion that the government, in particular, has done enough for we look into more. I think the pri private sector has to challenge itself, and we all have to get together and understand that we can and use the demand and we can work together to, to form and provide the supply, but they build the service, and it's the young Greeks, not only uh, the society in business, particularly in Greece, and create that specializing, create that specializing. Uh, to keep attracting uh, large and not so large foreign uh, productions. And Mr. Saman mentioned before uh, how wonderful it is to uh, um, to film in Greece, but he also mentioned some weaknesses within the system. Um, can you give us your own insight about um, some of these weaknesses that need to be approved, to be improved? Um, Bureaucracy is always the issue, but it's not only Greece. I mean, as private uh, entrepreneurs, we would like to get things to see things done immediately. My personal experience with the city of the Saloniki is very positive. I think this future of film there with uh, Devin Kanderas. Uh, the entire city really helped. Uh, we don't hear you very well. Can you speak closer to your phone, to your uh, mic? The entire city really helped us there, genuinely and clearly. Um, the only real issue that I personally see in Greece is if the producers that are coming to be for to Greece multiplying the way I project, we have an issue of training the local people to be able to service these features. And this is something that I believe all uh, the people on the panel are aware about it and a lot of us trying to do something about it. Tome is, is, is leading the way of uh, directly, directly training people 
right now some of the people are from Greece, some come from the port. Uh, I think ultimately the goal would be to use uh, local people to assist these productions and maybe we're a few years away from that. Um, otherwise, I think, like everybody else says, Greece is and will become an ideal location for digital pieces. So. Um, and a question that we have gotten from the audience, um, which um, I don't know who's going to answer, whoever is willing to answer from our producers. Uh, the digital production is not fully developed in Greece, but it's a very fast and growing audiovisual sector uh, that could bring further economic activity and create jobs for young people. Is there a plan to invest in digital post-production facilities to process animation, special effects, virtual, you know, have virtual productions? Uh, so yeah. any one of you, go ahead. I can hear you very well, Mr. Yeah. The question is for me or someone else? No, you can answer and then I'll ask the same question for, for the rest. To, to mention something that I have experienced recently, I was in Greece a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I would do recommend that the government looks and the local authorities into the Wi Fi. Wi Fi is pretty slow in Greece, and I, I'm not sure if this is the right panel, but it's a huge issue. And I, I hope everybody agrees with me, and I think we should focus to increase the speed of the quality of the Wi Fi. In post productions right now, there's some facilities in Greece that I'm aware about. The panel, uh, the other people in the panel might know better than me. Um, it's something that we, as Millennium and Yubuyana Hellenic, definitely have it in our immediate plans. Is there another producer on the panel that, that would like to say something about this? Digital uh, production? If can I can, I? yes. Can I speak it here? Sure, Dimitri. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, the the digital uh, production, the um, the effects, uh, the effects is um, it's a very uh, cost effective. Um, if we have it in Greece, we're not so much uh, uh, developed on that uh, section. Uh, it is also very expensive. So in order to be developed in Greece, we, have, we must have the, the amount of uh, film production and uh, TV shows that we need um, uh, that kind of uh, facilities and, uh, and expertise in order to be developed. Uh, I hope uh, that um, with the productions that there are going to come to Greece and with the help of the government and uh, ECOME, um that problem will be solved in the near future but we have we have facilities and we have uh, laboratories uh and uh, which, which which can everybody can work very fine uh, not in the hollywood standards and this is something that we have uh, to work for mr karayanis do you intend to invest yeah. in, in uh, such kind of productions yes uh, our strategic is to be uh, to uh, give money and uh, uh, and uh, put money on digital, but um, you don't uh, don't forget that we have two years COVID. Don't forget that Ecome is a new for Greek people and for Greek market. That means that Ecome is the main reason uh, for the development in the Greek audiovisual industry. Uh, they support the producers and uh, we receive from ECOVE motivates up to be more professional and to, uh, to offer to the audiences better series and better projects. In this strategy, we are going to invest in digital. Uh, but, uh, okay, we lost two years. Uh, we have lost two years and now we are ready to do more things. This may answer. Okay. Um, I understand we've gone over our time and I need to wrap up. I want to thank every one of you and wish you every success in your new endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank for you. taking the time to come and talk to us.